Sports Final Spotlight brought to you by your local Portland and Salem Acura dealers. This final spotlight, the hardest hitting sport on wheels. Depending on who you talk to, it's called wheelchair rugby, quad rugby, or by its original name, murder ball. But for a team of quadriplegic athletes here in Portland, the sport means everything, mostly because it offers something they couldn't find anywhere else. You'd only need to take a quick spin, and you'd immediately understand the attraction. Twice a week, the Portland Pounders get together for quad rugby practice. They all have different stories and different abilities, but Pounders coach Ed Sir has seen it time and time again. It's just get, being able to find that, um, that competitive spirit again, that many of them had said, you know, I'm in a chair, I'm never going to be able to compete like that again in my life, and now they're doing it. Will Grow is one of several Portland players that's also a member of the U.S. national team. For guys like Will, quad rugby was a no-brainer. I think everybody needs some sort of a, some sort of an outlet. Um, I played a lot of sports all my life growing up, uh, collegiately and um, different places, and so um, to have that to have that kind of an outlet um, is, uh, I think, is it's necessary. Even just just being here in practice, there's something fulfilling about just being able to t yell, being able to hit somebody with your wheelchair. Drop it. It's the only full contact wheelchair sport. Nice. The game is a blend of hockey and basketball. Murder ball was the original name, but it was changed to quad rugby, mostly because it's hard to line up sponsors when your game is called murder ball. But the original name is actually a better fit. The chairs look like battering rams and often serve that purpose. On this night, 21-year-old Tim Vixay is on the court for the first time. He was injured six months ago, and for Tim, quad rugby has delivered the unexpected. In high school, I was a lacrosse player, and so I'm used to, you know, getting rattled around and just hitting people. And after my accident, I didn't think any, anything like that was ever available. And when, uh, when I went out to see the tournament, I saw that, you know, it was really aggressive, and that's what I loved about it. It's the game that attracted him, but Tim's veteran teammates say it turns into so much more. For each player on this court, at some point, life took a sharp turn. Everyone here understands that. Well, it's kind of that common bond that we have, um, that we've all kind of been through a similar situation that, um, you know, even a family member who's been there by your side and struggled with all the issues that we've had to deal with, um, you can't explain that. They show up every week. Maybe it's for the camaraderie. Ready, go! Or the pursuit of an Olympic medal. It's all the way in the corner. Or simply trying to figure out what's next. No matter what the reason is, for these athletes, murder ball is a way of life. Ah! Most of the time, people are sitting down in their lives. Um, so really, what you're using with your head is the most important thing that you can be doing. I couldn't even imagine going that fast and in a chair ever and just seeing how naturally these guys can just speed around corners and just cut and it's pretty it's pretty motivating. Now in quad rugby's division two national championship today Portland lost to Minnesota by 1.4948 and get this it's the second year in a row the Pounders have suffered a one point loss in the championship game.